the jury find the defendant Daniel Villegas not guilty of... Susan Mellon. In 1998, Mellon was convicted of the murder of a 30-year-old homeless man, said to be her boyfriend at the time, receiving a sentence of life in prison without parole. Mellon spent 17 years behind bars after giving what she claims was a false confession. It was frightening. And there's so many times that I was scared. Mellon's conviction was finally overturned in 2014 after it was discovered that she was convicted without sufficient evidence. The conviction is overturned. As to Ms. Mellon, the case is dismissed. Mellon received over $12 million in compensation from the city of L.A. because of her false imprisonment and was finally able to return to her children. Ricky Jackson. Ricky Jackson was sentenced to death in 1975 for the murder of 59-year-old Harold Franks in Cleveland, Ohio. Jackson was just 18 years old at the time and was identified as the shooter during a robbery by a 12-year-old witness. Jackson spent an unbelievable 39 years behind bars before his wrongful conviction was finally overturned. He was exonerated at age 58, making him one of the longest-serving innocent men in American history. Mr. Jackson, you're going to be free to go. Life is filled with uh, small victories, and this is a big one. Thankfully, Jackson's conviction of death had been commuted to life in prison, sparing his life. I wish you good luck. Thank, Thank you. you, Your Honor. Jackson received over $3.5 million in compensation for his time behind bars. I'm very happy, needless to say. You know, words can't express how I feel right now. John Bunn. In 1991, 14-year-old John Bunn was convicted of the murder of an off-duty police officer during a robbery in Brooklyn. I'm an innocent man, Your Honor, and I have always been. Bunn was arrested by disgraced officer Louis Scarella the next day, despite not fitting the description of the attacker. Y'all convicted and had a wrong man in prison, and now y'all still have somebody that's on the loose that's right now that... Bun was finally exonerated in 2016 after serving 17 years in prison. While inside, Bun taught himself how to read and started a book drive to help other prisoners learn. I just feel overly blessed and just thanking God that we reached this point. Deborah Milka. Milka spent 23 years on death row following the 1989 shooting of her four-year-old son. Two other men convicted of the murder admitted to being present, but said that the other was responsible. Milka was convicted based on the testimony of Armando Saldate, a disgraced detective later accused of perjury and misconduct, who claimed that she had confessed to him. I did not confess to him. I did not confess at all. In March 2013, Milka's conviction was unanimously overturned by a three-judge panel, and all charges charges against her were dismissed. I always believed this day would come. I just didn't think it would have to take 25 years. Daniel Villegas. At 16 years old, Daniel Villegas was convicted of fatally shooting two teenagers in 1993. The teens had been walking home from a party in El Paso, Texas, when they were shot and killed. Villegas later jokingly bragged about being involved with the murders to friends, leading to his arrest. Daniel was reportedly threatened with the death penalty and rape by police, who finally pressured him into confessing. He spent spent 18 years behind bars before his conviction was overturned. We, the jury, find the defendant Daniel Villegas not guilty of... Villegas sued the city after his release and has since started a family and career on the outside. We're no longer under any conditions in this court. You are free to leave. Good luck, yes. Kristen Lobato. Kristen Lobato was just 18 years old when she was convicted of the 2001 murder and mutilation of a homeless man in Las Vegas. She received a sentence of 40 to 100 years, serving 16 before new evidence confirmed her alibi miles from where the killing took place. I'm excited. You know, I get a brand new start. Lobato was finally released in 2018 and is currently suing the city of Las Vegas for the time she spent behind bars. So where's your now? Okay, well, we got to go shop. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for more.